Hi folks, Max from uh, GalaxyS4Root.com. Uh, That's my new site. Um, anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S4 uh, for this uh, root method. This is only for the Qualcomm models, all the LT models. This should work on GTI 9505. If you have the US AT&T T-Mobile Sprint Verizon, it should work. Um, this root method just gives you root, so it's very easy to unroot. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. First thing you want to do is go to settings here and uh, go ahead and go to uh, more. And go to about device and go ahead and uh, hit the build number like five times. One, two, three, four. I just hit a bunch of times it's until it says you're a developer. There we go. It says developer mode has been enabled. Go hit the back button. Go to developer options and make sure developer options is on and turn on USB debugging. Hit OK. Next go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. Um, there should be a screen that pops up. Make sure you hit OK, alright? And then let's go to your computer. Next go ahead and open up uh, Moto Chopper. Go ahead and download the Moto Chopper zip file. I'll have links uh, below on my website and uh, go ahead and download it. And go ahead and extract all files. And you should get a folder called Moto uh, Chopper. So I'm going to go into Moto Chopper directory. Inside there, you should find another Moto Chopper directory. Um, for Windows, go ahead and hit uh, run.bat. Double click there. And also uh, for Linux or Mac, go ahead and uh, run run.sh using the command line. Um, I'll have the command line for Linux and Mac. Now for Windows, make sure uh, go open up Device Manager and make sure you have Samsung drivers installed. Uh, you, if you don't see Samsung a Android ADB interface, you just see like Galaxy S4 with an uh, exclamation mark. Go ahead and install the drivers, uh, Samsung USB drivers. I'll have uh, the links to the drivers. It's just an .exe file. You can just run it, and it will install the drivers. So once you're all ready to go, um, go ahead and hit uh, double click on Run.bat and make sure you hit uh, run there and go ahead and hit uh, hit enter to continue and this will pretty much root uh, your Galaxy S4 any of the Galaxy S4's uh, running Qualcomm um, Snapdragon 600 this is actually a method for uh, one of the newer Motorola uh, Razer HD and Razer M devices uh, which also use Qualcomm but does work for the Galaxy S4 Alright, if you get this message, um, when installing the superuser.apk, you might have to go to your phone and hit allow. So make sure you watch your phone while you're doing things, doing this. And if you've got all of this, um, you should be all good to go. And uh, your phone should be um, rebooting now. And I'll be back uh, when my phone reboots. Hi folks, so it is rebooting. Uh, just reboot it. Let's see if we have um, super user here. And uh, let me see here, where is super user? There we go. We've got super user and uh, we have root. And let me go ahead and download uh, like a rooted app to verify. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and download Titanium Backup, uh, which I highly recommend to back up your apps uh, when installing custom ROMs. And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and open and uh, yes, I've got super user requests. And uh, remember to hit allow. Um, you have a fully rooted phone. Now, if you want to always unroot, oops, you can just hit uh, remember choice forever. That way it won't ask you. Uh, if you want to unroot, I believe if you go to super user, there's a method to unroot here. Go to settings here. And let me see. Um, I don't see it in this one, but uh, there is a universal unroot method um, you can use to unroot your phone, and I have that method. Um, I'll have that link to that method if you need to unroot. That will completely unroot your phone. But this root method only gives you root; uh, doesn't install custom recovery or anything like that. Um, so this should work. Any of you who have um, the Qualcomm Galaxy S4, so go enjoy your rooted Galaxy S4. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see um, 
if I can develop some Clockwork Mod Recovery or see um, if somebody else has is developing it right now. I'm going to XDA. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As why, always, if you like this video, um, don't forget to hit that like button from here, subscribe button down there. And also, I have a new channel for the Galaxy S4. I'm going to put all my ROMs and you know all, all the instructions there. So you can also go subscribe to um, youtube.com slash uh, root galaxy s4 and also my site is galaxy s4 root.com um, sorry for the confusion somebody somebody actually took the galaxy s4 root on youtube.com so I had to take the other one so it became root galaxy s4 YouTube channel anyway thanks you guys um, stay high on Android and go root your galaxy s4 and I should have also another method for the octa core uh, my octa core is coming soon in the mail so uh, if, if I have it by the time you see this video, I should have it also in the description. Anyway, thanks guys. I'll see y'all later.